how you know there's two bodybuilders lurking. One bag there, another bag there. Hey, what is up you guys? Hey, what is up you guys? It is Peter. We are back with another video, another vlog for you guys. Took you guys through my little breakfast routine here. Today we got an awesome day. We're gonna be going through you know, all my meals. I'm gonna do some meal prep. I'm also gonna meet up with my boy Drew later. He's making another appearance for you guys. But yeah, got my oatmeal here, my eggs. You guys know the deal. I'm gonna get this down and let's get into my day. Let's go, let's go. Come on, y'all, dang. All right, you guys. Well, today is actually my Sunday, so it's Memorial Day, right? <clears throat> so I start my work week tomorrow, so today I got to do all of my meal prep. So I got to get some chicken ready, got to get the grill going. I got one of those charcoal grills, so it's not one of those flippy dooby hippies, you know what I mean? It takes a little time, it takes a little marinating. So we're going to get that rocking. Let's get it, y'all. All right. Got that charcoal. Nice and strategically placed. Now I got the best part, right? Oh. Hopefully I don't set the whole place on fire, but that's kind of the goal here. All right, y'all, we got the bonfire going. Let's get this meat ready. Let's actually get my rice ready for the day before we get the, the chicken ready, just because that grill's gonna take a while. Get the rice going. All right, you guys know the deal, a little scoopy. A little scoopy scoopy. Get about two and a half. Put these guys in here. Bam. Close that hatch. Boopy and boopy. All right, rice is ready to grow, guys. Let's get my meat ready for the day. We'll get that on the grill. All right, y'all. So I got my meat here. So I got some chicken breast fillets, as you can see. And I got some ground, some sirloin tip steaks. So that's what I'm gonna be grilling up today. A little meal prep tip too. So I like to do all my protein just a couple days in advance. Just really helps with cook time. Everything else, like in the morning, you know, I can do my rice and I can get everything else ready, but with my protein, that's pretty time consuming. So I'd say get your protein ready, you know, one day of the week for a couple days in advance. It's really gonna save you guys some time. It really helps me out too. Just a good meal prep tip for y'all. Okay, salt on that guy. And this doesn't need to be perfect, guys. It does not need to be perfect by any means. I'm just getting these so they taste pretty good. All right, y'all, so I got the salt and the garlic powder already on. I just got this chicken seasoning. This is that chicken seasoning that I'm talking about, um, just the Shopper's Valley. Honestly, it tastes really good. So I'm gonna get this on there just to finish it off. I ain't no professional cooker guy or chef, all right? But yeah, there's the chicken. I'm gonna do the other side, season the other side, and then I'll get that on the grill, all right? Also got some steak here, guys, too. I'll just touch on this. With this side of seasoning, I got salt on here. Um, I got this Mrs. Dash table blend. Uh, which I really, really like. I put this on a lot of stuff. And then that same um, roasted garlic powder. Okay, so that's what's on here. Salt, table blend, garlic powder, right? While I'm waiting for the grill heat up, guys, and everything to get ready, I thought I'd just make some ground turkey quick for my last meals. Uh, so frying that up, and we'll get that ready for in a little bit, all right? All right, y'all, meat is on the grill. We got the chicken breast and those two steaks. Uh, with the chicken breast, I'll probably go like eight minutes each side, uh, and then the steak, more about like five, six. Um, but I'll check it. One thing with uh, one thing with the chicken too is when you're done with it, if, if you got like an internal thermometer, that really helps. 
Um, but for me, I just cut it when I'm done. As long as it's white all the way through, uh, you'll be good to go. There's nothing worse than pulling all your chicken off and then not checking it. And then when you go to cut it open like a day later, realizing that it's all raw. So make sure that you check it and make sure that it's all thoroughly cooked. All right, y'all. Ooh, it's looking good. Let's get a little flippy up in here. Steaks probably only need a couple more minutes. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at holding this camera and doing stuff sometimes. But yeah, look at that color. Ooh, I'll get these flipped and we'll see you guys in there. Everything is prepped in its containers. Got the chicken, ground turkey, the beef, and then I got my ground turkey and my chicken actually weighed out for my next two meals. So bam, meal prep done guys, get on with the day. Meal number two here, got some jasmine rice and then that turk um, the chicken I just made, excuse me. So got the turkey with the barbecue sauce on. Banging this out. I know a lot of you too might be, you know, kind of sick of chicken and doing the same thing with meal prep. My biggest advice too would be, you know, just switch it up, guys. You gotta switch up your proteins, especially. Uh, I'd say at least each week, if not every other week. Um, like for me, you know, one week. I'll do chicken next week, I'll do ground turkey, you know, the week after that. Might switch to, you know, a more red meat, might switch to fish, um, but you gotta keep some variety, because then you won't get bored. And you wanna be able to look forward to your meals too. So I'm gonna get this down, and then we'll probably be training here pretty soon. Uh, those are a couple more tips for you guys. All right, y'all, got the meal prep. Um, got the shaker ready with some protein. I'm gonna be heading, um, Right now I'm heading to my family's house. It's like an hour away from me. And then I'm gonna pick up with Drew after that. I got my meal prepped there. I think they're gonna be like grilling out and stuff, but I'm just gonna eat that so I have a really good pre-workout meal. Uh, and then I'm gonna meet up with Drew. I'm not sure if we're gonna work out at any time yet or go to Metro, so I guess we'll both be finding out together. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the gym. I'm gonna drive there um, and eat with my family, hang out with them for a bit, and then I'll catch up with you guys when I see the boy Drew. All right, y'all, let's get it. What is up my YouTubers? Uh, we are back and we're at the anytime. So we're gonna, me and Drew are gonna throw down a little shoulder workout today at anytime. Um, Drew's definitely the smallest guy I know. So I'll have to, you know, show him around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get in that. I'm waiting on him right now. And right, we'll get into that guys. I'll see you guys in there. We're in the building guys. We are at the anytime here in Janesville. Drew's just getting warmed up. I'm getting warmed up too. We're gonna hit shoulders like I said. Probably get into a pressing movement here pretty soon. We'll get into that. And yeah, let's get this going, man. I'm excited, let's get it. Me and Drew back in, get back in the game together. About to throw it down. Let's go, y'all. Getting her all set up here. Drew, be ready, baby? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with some seated press, guys. I've been thinking, lately it's just me against the world. Round and round, I'm caught up in this swirl, trying to dig and trying to whirl. Pressure turned a stone into a pearl. Lessons that I learned weren't always thorough. Sugar coated like a churl. Now I'm really out here on my own. Now my homies acting like I owe. I'm done extending out my arm. Made a lot of money from my poems. Been around it, now they say I'm on. I can finally say I'm up now. I'm up now. Twenty thousand on a bus down, a bus down. I'm on my way. I'm going up now. We're both done messing around. Drew's got the cutoff on. It's just the lighting in here, guys. Seriously, it's just the lighting. Yeah. <laughs> you want more set on this? Is that that chocolate milk pump, Drew? Chocolate milk pump. <laughs> <laughs>
So the rear delt finisher guys doing some bent over rear delt flies here. So with this exercise guys, get a lot more bent over than you think. Get a lot more bent over than you think. Don't worry about keeping your arm completely straight, but you want the momentum to completely come from your rear, from your rear delt. So go like to start, make sure you feel it in your rear delt, um, and then go up from there. Okay, so just make sure that you're getting the movement right and you're feeling it in the right spot, all right? Oh, I lied guys, sorry. We're gonna finish with front raises here. Get the beast going. Sheesh. All right, y'all, me and the shoot dog here are gonna be cutting out, checking out. Just threw down that nice old shoulder workout. Drew, do you remember your, your protein? No, sadly I didn't. Oof, stuck with chocolate <laughs> milk, I guess. Not a good look. All right, y'all, we'll see y'all when I get back to the crib. Let's go. You guys see Ronnie, you guys know where I'm at. So right now I'm back, gotta make food, gotta do some laundry, and gotta be productive for the next couple hours. So let's do it. Got those egg whites weighed out. Now I just got that rice that I that I made earlier. Gotta weigh this out. I'm gonna have 200 grams of rice with this meal and I'll add an egg. And then I'll actually combine my last meal because I was kind of running around today. So I'll just combine all those meals together. So I'll get some rice cakes going, some peanut butter too, and some Greek yogurt. It'll be a banger, let's do it. I got that rice that I prepared earlier too. That'll go with the egg whites. Right on the money, 200. All right, this is part of the post-workout meal. Got some egg whites, one whole egg, and that rice. Finished up with those egg whites. Now moving on to the rest of it. So I actually didn't really get my proper like meal for after my workout. So I'm just gonna combine these two and this is gonna be absolutely heaven. So I get two tablespoons of this peanut butter, which I usually get with my shake, but I didn't do that earlier. So I'm just gonna smear this peanut butter on this rice cake. If I get two of these, it's gonna be heaven. Then I get blueberries and this Greek yogurt. I'm also gonna mix that spoon with the peanut butter in there a little bit. Mm. I'm gonna be in heaven with this. I'm gonna get this down, and then I'm gonna do some laundry. And this is what I'm doing with. What do you guys usually do? Do you guys just throw it all in the washer? Or do you guys separate it out? Let me know. Honestly, the worst part about doing laundry too is when the, like your socks are like this and you throw them in because you're lazy. Then you gotta go through, get them right. Well, you can guess, I separate mine out. So I got my lights right here and my darks. Ooh, got some J's too. Here, right, let me show you guys some. Got those all white, some all white Yeezys. And probably my favorite pair of shoes I own. Got some True Blue 3's. Dead stock, never been even out of the box. They still have like the clip on them, the stuffing, everything. Literally, I've never even taken them out, so. Come on, you guys gotta know. <laughs> See? Bam. All right, you guys, that is gonna be all for today. That's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog, enjoyed the content with me and Drew. We enjoyed throwing it down for you guys, and I'm super excited to keep this going. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. Please make sure to like and subscribe below. It really helps me out in the comments. Let me know anything you'd like to see. Got a lot of stuff coming out, as I just said. Love you guys. See y'all in the next one. Let's get it. If you're not subscribed to Peter Larson Fitness, then what the f are you doing?
the cameras literally sideways.